Hi, I'm Emma from the Angular team. And I'm Simona, also from the Angular team. And today, Simona and I will be rethinking reactivity with signals. To be able to rethink reactivity, first, I think we need to take a step back and understand what we mean by reactivity. Reactivity is a declarative way to express the propagation of change. Take a spreadsheet, for example. If you update Mark's last name, you'd expect the full name to update too. That's because our spreadsheet knows that full name depends on first and last name. That's exactly what reactivity allows us to bring to the web. Reactivity enables a framework to understand change propagation through dependency tracking. That's a simple example, but what about when you have more than one value? You can think of the values or state in your app as nodes in a graph. They rely and update based on one another. If one value is changed, that dependency is tracked and the observable state notifies any derived values which depend on this value. When these values change, a side effect like a render is triggered. But the change propagation only notifies dependent values. That is, values in the graph that don't depend on the changed value are not impacted. These precision updates are important for performance. We'll dig into this a little bit more later. In Angular, we're introducing reactivity everywhere with Angular Signals, available in developer preview in version 16 today. One of our major motivations behind introducing Signals is simplification. Let's dig in to the three reactive primitives we're introducing to simplify your development. Signal, computed, and effect. A signal is a value that can tell Angular when it changes. When a signal is read within a reactive context, it's capable of notifying, or signaling, that reactive context of future changes in its value. In our spreadsheet, first and last name would be signal values, ready to notify their reactive context if they're changed in the future. Some signals can be changed directly, while others calculate their value based on the values of other signals. I'll signal Simona to talk about this a little bit more. Thanks, Emma. Together, signals create a graph of dependencies which model how data flows in your application. Reactive context lets you do some pretty cool things. In many situations, you might find yourself deriving state from existing values, with the goal to have the derived state update when the dependent value changes. With computed, we can declaratively express that full name depends on the first name and last name and expect it to be updated automatically when they change. There are times when we might want something to occur when a signal has a new value. With effect, we can run a side effectful function as a result of a signal change. Effects have a variety of use cases, including triggering network requests, performing rendering actions, reading or mutating the DOM after Angular is finished rendering. In our spreadsheet, we want to log to the console when last name has changed. We can do that inside an effect. Here, an execution will be triggered every time last name changes. Let's look at a more powerful example of these three primitives at work. We're going to use Angular signals to build a Cypher game and have a little fun, shall we? Ciphers are systems for encrypting and decrypting data. In this demo, we're going to decode a secret message by dragging and dropping clues to solve a cipher. You can even customize the message and share the URL with your friends to send your own secret message. Decipher our message or send your own custom message at the link in the description box. Let's dive into how signals are powering this game. This app has three signals provided in two root services. First, we define a cipher signal, a randomly generated mapping of key value pairs from one letter of the alphabet to a new encoded letter of the alphabet. We'll use this to encode the message. We also have a decoded cipher signal, 
of the key value pairs from the cipher signal that we've successfully decoded. And finally, we have my favorite, a super secret message signal that defines the secret message we're decoding. A unique and powerful attribute of Angular Signals library design is that we're introducing reactivity everywhere. We define our signals once in our services, and we can use them in a template, component, pipes, other services, basically anywhere that you write your application code. We're not limited or bound to a component scope. Here, we're using the super secret message in a template to help display our message. But we're using the exact same signal across multiple component classes to create the URL, set a new super secret message, and more. Now, let's look at our computed values. Remember, computed signals create derived values based on one or more dependent signal values. The derived value is updated in response to changes in the dependent signal values. In our application, the secret message is displayed on the screen and represents the value of the super secret message encoded using the cipher. Every time you change the value of the super secret message, the value of the secret message is recomputed automatically, and the UI updates with the new secret message. So our secret message depends and is computed from our super secret message and the cipher signals. While solved message decodes the secret message with the cipher into what a user sees on the screen using the decoded cipher. Together, signals create a graph of dependencies which models how data flows in your application. Our dependencies graph maps how we're deriving values based on other signals. Angular can use the notifications from signals to know which components need to be change detected or to execute effect functions, which you define. Here, we're using effect to launch confetti when our cipher message is solved. Want to explore this demo's code? Head to Stack Blitz to dig in and debug. With precision updates and lightweight dependencies, Signals enables you to build faster apps by default. Signals unlocks better performance by minimizing the work Angular performs to keep your DOM up to date with precise writes. Signals give fine-grained information about which parts of the model have changed. And Angular understands which signals are used in different parts of the component tree. Change detection runs when and only when a signal read in the template notifies Angular that it has changed. Signals are two kilobytes and fast, with no requirement to load third-party dependencies and no upfront startup cost when your page first loads. Angular v16 is only the beginning. Our team is committed to experimentation and feedback as we continue to evolve into the future. And since we're Angular, we're committed to the same model of backwards compatibility that we've always had. We want you to be able to use signals in your app no matter how you currently manage state. We are building signals with first-class support for interoperability in mind. In fact, we're taking this one step further, and we're excited to announce that we are partnering with some of your favorite state management libraries to ensure that you can work with Signals from day one. Angular Signals is in developer preview starting with version 16, and we're excited for you to try it out and share feedback. This is only the first step. Next steps include updating component APIs to include support for inputs, outputs, and queries, and enabling fully zoneless apps. Throughout the process, we'll make sure that we publish requests for comments, RFCs, on the Angular GitHub repository so you get full insights and opportunities to share feedback. Reactivity gives you three powerful yet simple primitives, signal, computed, and effect. They enable you to simplify your development with conceptual simplicity, familiar concepts, and first-class support for interoperability. 
you will constantly be on the optimal path to build faster apps by default with precision updates and lightweight dependencies powered by reactivity everywhere. We're excited to see what you'll build using Angular Signals. ng update to v16 and start coding with us at the link in the description. In fact, if you're eager to start today, we just launched a workshop on getting started with Angular Signals. Develop your first app powered by Angular Signals, which might look very familiar. That's my signal to wrap up. Thank you.